Look at that picture. By any objective standard. What the fuck is that? This is the fucking New York Times fucking magazine. Look at the fucking picture. They're, uh, they're not trying to fuck us? You know why I think Ohio's gonna go just great? Because when I came here after Wisconsin, you guys gave me Lucky Buckeye, and here's my Lucky Buckeye. The president got $84 from a timber company that he owns, and he's counted as a small business. I own a timber company? <laughs> That's news to me. You need some wood? <laughs> you need some wood? You create jobs. Uh, timber company? Huh? What the fuck was he talking about? What? No fucking way, man! Are you kidding me? Sleep? Sleep is for the date! Party! How big is the pony? Get the fucking pony and put it in the hotel room. I don't... What? No, just get a pony, put him in there, yeah, yeah. He needs to have a bridle on and just tie him to the fucking bed. You know how hard it was to try and find a live farm animal? <laughs> Anatomically correct. Having a wonderful conversation with myself here. So what do you think about this electric well, I think it's great. We're gonna... Any surprises that you found lately? No, but the polls show this. But you don't believe in polls. Well, I don't believe in polls. But what do you think about this? You know, do you like President Bush? I don't know President Bush. <laughs> How could you accuse us of being war criminals? How can you expect our sons and daughters to follow you when you condemned their fathers and grandfathers? Ah, it's sick. This guy went over there and fought for his country and war heroes saved a man's life and they put that crap on television. It's ridiculous. I mean, the problem was that Swift Boat was largely true. 